So this is the third time I'm attempting to record this and I went twice to the end before I even realized my recording application has crashed. So this is probably going to be much faster than the first few times uh, just so I get through it as quick as possible. So uh, I've opened up Lightroom here, the regular Lightroom, what I called up until now Lightroom Modern as opposed to Lightroom Classic. Uh, and you'll see it has a very simple interface compared to Lightroom Classic. It can do all of the editing stuff, uh, but it can't. It doesn't have all those output options like saving for web, galleries for print, uh, adding images on the map and all, all of that. You have here, the first button here on the left is the add photos button so you can just import very quickly you can select a bunch of images or a folder you can choose which ones you import or don't you can select all or none and just add them and you can add them to an album which is basically the Lightroom equivalent of Lightroom Classics collections or create a new one I won't you have this home button which takes you well, what you see when you just open up a, uh, the application and you just see your recent images and some tutorials and stuff like that. And then you have your My Photos area, basically the library, where you have all of your images in different kinds of views. You can change the view from down here. You can... Uh, change the sort order you can filter by star ratings and flags you don't have the option as far as I know to have colors and extra uh, filterings here and you can choose your zoom levels whether you ha have the film strip or not and to preview your settings this hasn't really been changed so not a lot of stuff to preview um, so you basically can navigate through all of the files that you have here. Uh, you have your albums as well. Uh, now, the different thing about Lightroom as opposed to Lightroom Classic is that it saves automatically everything to the cloud. So I just installed this application and I have almost 2000 photos in here because I've worked on them on a different computer sometime and they're all saved to the cloud I've imported nothing in this there's just other photos of mine that I've worked on and if you click this little cloud icon in the upper right corner you, you can see your storage uh, so you have a hundred gigabytes that's decent if you're not a photographer as a uh, as a living uh, and to edit you don't have a separate panel here you just go to the toolbar here on the right and if you click edit you have basically the same options that you had in Lightroom Classic but slightly differently arranged so you have the histogram you have the auto button and you can turn the image to black and white from here the color profile not that important but then instead of tonal corrections you have light they're the same settings but they're called differently and the tone curve is hidden here under this button then color groups vibrance and saturation which were at the bottom of the basics or of, of the yeah of the basics uh, tab in camera raw um, with white balance temperature and tint which were at the top and you have hue saturation and lightness controls which are here as a uh, as a hidden feature as it were which you were a different tab or different section effects were usually just or were before just vignette and grain uh, the presence controls texture clarity and the haze are added here and split toning under the button um, and detail has sharpening and noise reduction both luminance and color 
but they the the advanced settings are hidden you need to click this little triangle next to the value to see the advanced settings for each of these options uh, optics remove chromatic aberration lens correction the fringing uh, that can be hidden away and geometry to fix the perspective basically that's all you have the crop settings, flipping, rotating, straightening, changing uh, proportions. You have uh, the spot removal brush, which is called the healing brush here. You have the adjustments brush that's just called the brush. Uh, gradient and radial filters called linear and radial gradient. Uh, and a few options here to copy the settings and paste them on different images, show original or reset the image, hide the histogram, or edit the image in Photoshop. Now, um, you can do that in Lightroom Classic as well. Just choose, uh, choose an image and have it open up in Photoshop. You can also just right click here, edit in Photoshop, the same thing as in Lightroom Classic. And it goes with all the settings you applied here. It just moves to Photoshop where you can continue doing specific things to it, like selections and stuff like that. Um, and then you have, so we had the home button, the my photos button, add photos or import and sharing or export where you can choose, you can add connections, but there are not a lot of services. You can basically log into a few services to export directly there, or you can just, sorry, I'm flipping through these, just select some images, uh, and right click to export or right click a single image to export and you get a few options here you just have jpeg tiff dng or the original plus settings so the the file plus the sidecar file the xmp file uh, you can you can add the metadata or not and stuff like that but not as much uh, or as many options as you had in uh, in Lightroom Classic, you also have a share button here which takes you to the same place. It's still export. And here at the bottom you can add keywords um, and see your file info. Again, work with metadata, not as many options as you regularly get, but some stuff. Um, so yeah, this is basically it. It's very good for editing quickly. It takes up less power, uh, less processing power than Lightroom Classic, but it doesn't have as many options. And you can sync your images with Lightroom Classic to, to the cloud as well, but this does it automatically and seamlessly, so it's, it's a bit simpler. You get both when you when you buy Lightroom anyway, so you can choose whichever you want depending on what you can use, what your system can take, what you need. Uh, and in addition to this, you also get Lightroom for web, which I'll show you in the next video, and Lightroom mobile, which I won't show you, but it's very similar. So I'm gonna stop now before this crashes again and do a very short one on Lightroom web.